Yeah, this is BZ Mac, and you fucking with Gotti Visions. Let's get it. All right, so we got the man of the hour, man. Exactly. We got my nigga BZ Mac, man. What's up, what about? Ain't no shit, just tapping in, man. Thank you for coming to uh, Gotti Vision TV. You feel me? Oh, nothing. Regular. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, first off, man, let's jump right into this. Uh, let's get it. What city did you grow up in, man? I grew up in Stockton, California. Okay. Central to be exact. Okay. I moved around a little bit. The Central is where uh, I really like migrated back to always, so that's what it is and where it's at. Okay, for so, sure, for so, sure, for so. sure. Okay, so uh, what high school did you go to, man? First, I started off at uh, Bear Creek. It's in Stockton, Northside. Okay. Things weren't going too good over there, so I got sent to a continuation school. What you, whoa, 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 what you mean by uh, things wasn't going too good there, though? Oh, you know, just fucking up, not going to class, smoking weed, you know, getting it, chasing bitches. Wasn't going to class, that's all I know. Okay, so, okay, well, I mean. Badass shit. kid. Everybody be fucking up, P. But, uh, so, uh, was there a lot of gang violence where you grew up at? Hell yeah, Stockton is a jungle, baby, like everywhere. It's not safe anywhere. So there's gang violence everywhere you go, except unless you're in a gated community, and sometimes there's even gang violence there too. Okay. Nobody's safe out here, really. So you ever lost any of your homies out here to this shit? Man, too many. I could dig it, man. We done lost several. I done lost several homies. Me knowing you, man, I know we done lost yeah. big. We done lost LJ, I lost my nigga Mom. We lost a few niggas, man. The list goes on. We just gotta stay strong. Keep yeah. pushing this shit for them. Hell yeah, That's nigga. That's all I do. For sure. Keeps me going. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, uh, who inspired you to do music, my nigga? Like, what inspired you? Fucking with my boy Gotti, you. Okay. Ever since then, it's just been up. Who was your favorite rapper growing up? Oh, shit, boy. Cause I grew up listening to a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, mainly like Wu Tang, Nas, okay, Matt Dre, okay, top top. Those are the top tops. Okay, okay. So, uh, myself, <laughs> I could definitely dig that, my man. Uh, so, uh, when did you start rapping? Like, wh where was your first track? Did like, what age did you get your first thing going? Well, I was like. I was always rapping, like, for fun, but never started taking it serious till about, uh, about 10th grade. Okay. And that's when I first laid my first track. Okay. I heard myself, and ever since then, like I said, it's been up. Okay. So from, from, from then to now, you feel me? How could you say, like, your style has changed or evolved over the time? Yeah, that changed a lot, like, miraculously. Okay. Because, yeah, at first I didn't, like I said, I wasn't taking it serious. Yeah. And the more uh, I was in the studio getting it, getting the feel of it, and the more pressure they was putting on my neck, then the more harder I went. Okay, okay. I can definitely see that. So, uh, the biggest question the fans want to know is, uh, you used to be walking, everybody know that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Now you in a wheelchair. Facts. So the biggest question they want to know is, uh, how'd you get in the wheelchair, man? Well, I used to play a lot of sports and run around a lot. Okay. And I got injured okay. in my leg. And it started spreading to each one of my joints. And it uh, progressed into a uh, bone disease called ankylosing spondylitis, uh, abbreviated um, AS, if you want to look it up. Okay. And uh, there ain't no coming back from that, so I'm just trying to ride this shit out, really. Okay, okay. It uh, attacks all your joints, so there ain't nothing I could do but just stay positive, stay medicated, stay elevated. I could dig it, I could dig it. So, uh, where do you see yourself in a, in a year in this rap game, man? Like, where are you gonna take this rap shit in a year, Pete? Shit, hopefully out of Stockton, because it's a fucking boiling pot here. And we crabs in the bucket, so we all trying to get out. We all got our own weight, that's so all we gotta keep pushing. 
Yeah. I just want to be out of here by in a year, hopefully. Yeah, I can dig that. Fuck the dumb shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Made it this far. Okay. So, uh, what you think about this uh, Corona bullshit going on, man? You know, everybody got their different opinions on this shit. And yeah. I'm just wondering, like, what you, how you feel? Like, how this shit fucking up shit for you? I mean, it's fucking up shit for me, but how, how, how is it going for you, man, right now? Man, this shit, man, is a bunch of bullshit, I think, but okay. you still got to walk, take, you know what I'm saying? Keep your distance, wash your hands, wear your mask, because you never know what they're trying to do to us. You just got to stay awoke. Stay ahead of this bullshit, cause they trying to take us down. Okay, so how how you feel like Scary. how 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 you feel like the president's handling this shit though? Like this nigga doing a lot of weird shit right now. I, I mean, the stimulus shit and all this crazy shit. Like how you how you feel like he's handling the whole situation? Well, to be honest, it's not being handled. He's just feeding more uh, flames to the fire. It's just getting worse. Like. People don't want to listen. He don't want to keep people informed. He don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Take action, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit's going to get worse before it gets better. That's what I was telling the homie. I said, this shit going to get worse before it get better, man. You know what I'm saying? And like, we was talking off camera, man. This nigga ain't doing enough for the people. $1,200 ain't going to change nothing, man. But, uh, if you could do a feature with any established artist in the world, you know, like one of these big names, you know, you what, dead get, or alive or dead or you know what I'm saying? Uh I mean shit, dead or alive. Who would it be? Fuck, you already know it. Mac Dre for sure. Okay. I nigga Dre, I could I could definitely dig that. Shizzle. Okay, okay. Uh what 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 do you think you bring different to this rap game? Shit, everything. Everything? Okay. Switch my whole style up. I can give you any type of styles you want. Versatile, in a wheelchair, still grinding, still pushing the line. So I can feel that. Yeah. Getting it by any means, that's it. Okay, so uh, what projects or tracks are you working on and you got in the works? What you got coming up, man, for the people, man? Well, I always got something in the works, but. Uh, I'm still trying to put this uh, Mac of All Trades together. That's my own album, my own personal solo. Uh, with Gotti on the producing. And I got, uh, I got Time Is Money uh, mixtape out right now. Like three or four songs on there. Yeah, yeah. That's and I got a bunch that. of new singles coming. And I still got this uh, self-titled um, BZ Mac. Ben Zoning, Master in Art of Communication. I'm still working on that, so I always got something. So I'm always cooking something. I gotta stay busy with this shit going on. Yeah. The way shit's going in my life, yeah, I gotta stay busy. Well, yeah, my nigga, good looking, my nigga. Thank yeah. you for coming on Gotti Vision TV, Thanks, my nigga. Appreciate you. You feel me? Yep, and uh, you know, we gonna keep this shit rolling, my nigga. Off top. Yep. Let's get it.